All right, so we are midway through her chemical peel, right? Mm -hmm. How are you feeling? I'm feeling really good. How does the your pain tolerance? Um, out of ten, right now I'm not feeling any pain. Yeah, this is just probably tightness. One one of my strongest peels so she is a g <laughs> but we've also prepped with what do we do azelaic in the morning and then we're using mm -hmm. benzoyl peroxide and sulfur at nighttime she's been coming in monthly mm -hmm. with facials and the supplements i know this help a lot and her supplements and we're strengthening her skin so what i really like to do with my patients is educate them on what to expect um during as well as after so when you have frosting when you have most of the pain with chemical peels we're creating a controlled wound so when you have a controlled wound you're disrupting the skin barrier we're inducing a controlled inflammatory response and then we're also creating activation of your nerve endings so they're being mm. more exposed to the outside environment that's really where most of your pain is coming from as well as releasing more pain mediators as well as the depth of this peel so we are doing a medium moderate depth peel mm -hmm. and what i like to do is really take my time with the aftercare part so once we're done um advancing the peel this is probably your what is it your second layer we're about to do her third layer mm -hmm. um, we will be putting on some anti-inflammatory ingredients so usually that cuts the pain in half by within you know 30 seconds to two minutes and re epithelates the skin so it's increasing the skin barrier strength tolerance hydration and calming the inflammation down usually you'll feel warm after However, it's temporary. This peel um, is a liquid, so it travels fast. And I was telling her when she came in, she had a little bit of chapness on the sides of the skin. She was, you know, working on the front lines of the fires in LA. So you had a little bit of environmental damage and dryness with the winds. So what we did was really activate her skin with hydration and steam and really allow for that process to happen. Usually when you have dry skin, you do not want to do any chemical peels mm. or broken skin. However, the top of her forehead, as you can see here, was pretty good. You see this like shininess? That's a good sign that the peel is working. Same with her nose here. You see it's like nice and healthy. Um, so what we did was hydrate and put water back into the skin because I like to say peels travel better with water as opposed to erratically traveling through the skin when it's dry. All right, what is it now? A 10. <laughs> 10 out of 10? Well, like an 8. Maybe Honestly, you said it was a... Ooh. Okay, we got the fan on high. You can see the frosting here. So talk to me, how does this feel? like my face just drank water <laughs> all right so at this point mm -hmm. um this is where she's going to get 70 percent of her results so your home care so i always give my patients a post care kit their first time and it goes over what to use immediately after the cure uh, the peel and then what to use um after they're done peeling at this point usually my patients are already on a schedule with me of products to use and i always have them bring their products in as well, which she did today. Um, if you start duping and using alternatives to what I give you, you're not gonna get the results, 100%. I like to recommend my products because I know the ingredients, their delivery systems, how fast they're gonna get results, what to expect on every single day, and I can walk all of my patients through that. If you're not using the products, then you're gonna stray from that type of routine. And then of course there's caveats. The dead skin that's healing on top of the new baby skin on the bottom is actually a protective barrier to the um, baby skin, okay? So we want to make sure that that skin's protected. If you prematurely rip off that dead skin and start playing with all the like the things that are hanging, you're going to have um, burn marks mm. for sure in every single spot that you pick that off. So like I said, you can gently massage the dead skin when you're washing your face. Um, but don't pull it off. You can also use scissors to cut it off. Mm, okay? okay, just let things ride. Usually the peak of your peeling is going to be day three through five. Mm. All right, so you saw how her skin looks with the hydration, a little bit of frosting still, but 
pretty solid and now we are going to actually put some retinol and moisturizer on her skin she'll go to sleep and then start her aftercare starting tomorrow